I told you. Some deal that she worked out with Edward. You don't happen to know anything about the deal? No, not the faintest idea. No, it may not even be a deal. It has something to do with the LQ, I think. No, Monica really didn't want to go, but Edward absolutely insisted. That's interesting. There's some company involved. It starts with a B. I don't know. I don't remember what it was called. Why are you so interested? Oh, nothing really. It's just uh, something I overheard. Probably just a coincidence. <laughs> oh. Well, if you're through, we really should get going. There's a greedy real estate agent waiting in a mansion on Pershing Boulevard. What would you say if I backed out? Well, I wouldn't say anything, but I might ask why. Something uh, I remembered, something very important. You just remembered? Yeah, uh, silly of me, isn't it? Something you said reminded me of something. Uh, if you really like the house, you know, you could make another appointment to see it again tomorrow, and, uh, and it's always good to see it a second time. Now, I really am very sorry. Robert and I will pick you up at about six. No, 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 wait, darling. Grant has to work late, so why don't you and Robert go ahead to the rib? We'll meet you, and then we'll go to the theater from there. Right, right. Okay, Holly? Yeah? Are you sure everything's all right? Oh, yeah, fine. I just have to talk to Robert about something. All right, listen, Scorpio. Every day I wait, I'm going to lose money, all right? I got to start clearing out those buildings. I need those permits. All right. I'll talk to the mayor. What are you going to say? What you want me to say, that the mob is out of it. Yeah? Well, it isn't a lie, is it? Well, you know it's not. I don't act so surprised. Well, I just didn't figure you were going to do me a favor. I'm not doing you a favor. It's an accurate assessment of the situation. You keep your operation clean, you'll have no trouble from me. You got a deal. Let me ask you something, though. You said Han was into something else. What exactly? You're his partner. You tell me. Well, outside of the waterfront development, I stayed out of his business and he stayed out of mine. Have you made the same deal with Brock? I mean, this new guy that's... In the I don't have to deal with Brock. Brock's completely opposite. He's clean as a whistle. Senator Drake checked him out himself. I know. What we got here? Widower, one child, uh, on the Senate panel for American business, politically conservative, has pulled with about four large American banks. Yes, I'd say that's... That's uh, pretty plain. Where'd you get that? Golly, it's electronic age. I can pile this at home in five minutes. Why are you giving it to me? I want you to know who you're dealing with. A widower. Power. Thanks a lot. Information. You know, you keep this up, Scotty, you may just pick up your membership again in the human race. I'll take that as a compliment. Forget the compliment. Just be a good boy and prove me right. Honestly, I've never seen facilities that quite match these. Well, we've been very lucky, especially in the therapy department. A lot of people have donated directly to that facility. We can thank our fundraisers for that. We really have the best around. Oh, I wish I could say the same thing. It's, it's hard running a hospital in an area where most people can't even afford to pay for their own treatment. Don't you get some help from the state? Oh, some, but barely enough to keep us in styptic pencils. I mean, it's, it's a slow process, raising money, but we're working on it. <laughs> Oh, how was the tour? Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Will you join us? Well, thank you, but only for a minute. I've got to get back to OR. Well, take my seat, Bobby. I have an appointment with you. Yes, Ms. Mavic, I do, too. It was so nice meeting you, Natalie. Yes. yes, and if you get a chance, uh, before you leave the hospital, stop by my office for a quick goodbye, will you? Oh, I'll make a point of it. And thank you so much, both of you. Oh, really. it was our pleasure. Bye. Nice couple. They're the best. So, how was surgery? It was a snap, thank goodness, because I've got two more to go today, and I've got four tomorrow. Oh, what a schedule. At my hospital, we have maybe one surgery a week, and that's <laughs> in a busy week. What hospital is that? Oh, a little one you would never have heard of. It's, it's up near Indian Head Mountain. Beginner on your hands, so to speak. Nice. Two, see. Oh, nice. Hey, pal. Nice to see you, too. 
You and me. Wait, oh, yeah, wait a minute now. I saw that. I saw that. Just hold on one second. I just read that one. <laughs> friend? You betcha. You and me, friends. You betcha, pal. Hey! Oh, sorry, I didn't knock. Sorry, I didn't call first. Uh, sorry, I didn't even get a chance to check my makeup. Tell me, do you have a copy of Dun and Bradstreet lying around here somewhere? Well, if we don't, I'm sure I can have one brought in. What's it all about? Well, I have to check something first before I can say anything definite. But if my hunch is right, I may have found a connection between two of the four cities. Sorry, I don't mean to go on like this. No, that's all. I understand. I lost someone very close to Quan Tri, Vietnam. From that one, they brought you home in a bag, not a box. I'm sorry. No, it's, it was a long time ago. But I remember for the longest time thinking that someday he would walk right through that door and come back again. That somehow it was all just a mistake. I know the feeling. I did the same thing for a long time. Until I realized how damaging it was becoming. You gotta let go. Excuse me. Is this private? Can anybody even juror? Hi, Rube Sip. Thank you. Ruby Anderson, this is my aunt, uh, Natalie Dearborn. Natalie's been uh, looking at our facilities here. Oh, uh, in, in a professional way? Yes, the uh, therapy department. I'm in therapy at a much smaller hospital. Uh, we're always glad to welcome visitors. Natalie's hospital is in Indian Head. The wilderness. Just south of there. She treated some of the victims from the avalanche. I told her about Luke. I'm sorry, Mrs. Anderson. Yes. Well, uh, will you be going back there when you leave here? Well, maybe. I've uh, possibly even been considering a move here. We could always use a good therapist. I'm just not sure that I'm ready for life in the city. I mean, I don't know where I would live. I don't know the neighborhood at all. Well, it's not bad around here. Actually, we've been staying with our head nurse, Jessie Brewer, and then we're getting a place of our own. <laughs> oh, hello, ladies. Ah, hi. hi, Grant. He's our best ortho man. Grant, ah. have you met Natalie? No, but I just ran into Steve in the corridor, and he said it was a must that we do so. I understand you're a therapist. Yes, a rural hospital. The therapy is therapy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm glad to meet you, Natalie. Hello. Uh, did I get the last name? Uh, dear one. Well, I hope you got a nice tour of our facilities. Oh, yes. We have an excellent department here. Thank you. Speaking of which, I have a staff meeting to get back to. Nice meeting you, Natalie. Doctor? Oh, uh, Bobby. I understand we're having a little get-together tonight for Brian. Yeah, it's sort of a co-ed bachelor party. Well, it sounds great, but I'm afraid I'm going to be unable to make it. Celia and I are going to a play. Oh, which one? <laughs> I don't remember the name. <laughs> um, Holly got us the tickets, and we're going to be meeting her at the floating rib before curtain. If I don't see him, please tell Brian I'm sorry. Oh, sure we will. Have a good time. Okay, bye. What on earth is a floating rib? <laughs> <laughs> it's a restaurant that's very near here. Oh, good food? Oh, it's wonderful. Actually, it's become the favorite place for all the staff here. Oh, well, good. Then that's where I'll have dinner. Well, fine. You've got to find lots of good company. Exactly what I was thinking. You know, you look around this place long enough, you can find practically anything. Is it recent? Six months. Perfect. You're not going to tell me, are you? What? Look, I lugged that thing for you. All the way from records. Only you, nobody else but you. Now, I think I deserve some sort of an explanation. Something Celia said got me thinking. About what? Topeka. Here we go. The company is currently owned by ELQ International, NT Diamonds, Consolidated Copper, Mitchell Manufacturing. <clears throat> Here we go. Full in pharmaceuticals. All right, a company owned by E.L.Q. Now, what does that have to do with Topeka? Do you remember when I heard Gail talking to that doctor from Topeka about nutrients or something connected with mm. nervous disorders? Yeah, right. And we both agreed that your spying was a touch on the ridiculous side. Maybe not so ridiculous. Celia said that Monica is going to Topeka on Edward Quatermain's orders. Some kind of business deal or something. She wasn't quite sure exactly what it was, but I put two and two together. 
pharmaceutical company. Right, you did say that medical research was one of the areas. We still need that last connection. Who are you calling? Riley, punch up and pharmaceuticals on the computer, will you? Okay. Does it say anything about a medical advisor? It does. Great. Thank you. Well? You may have hit the jackpot. ELQ does indeed have a place called Boolan Pharmaceuticals, which does indeed have an office in Topeka, Kansas. And Monica is the medical advisor. Put that together with quote-unquote medical research and we may have something. Stab in the dark anyway. What do we do now? Well, we do in my business what's called make a friendly visit. I don't believe our luck. Well, it's not luck until it turns out to be significant. Yes, uh, Dr. Monica Quartermain, please. Monica, Robert Scorpio. And I'd like to talk to you. When can we meet? I see. Uh, then perhaps we can meet at your place uh, before you leave. It is important. No, no, this shouldn't take long at all. Thanks, love. I'll assume from the smile on your face that she said yes. Of course she said yes. I mean, nobody says no to the commissioner. What are you going to ask her? <laughs> well, I don't know, but I've got about an hour and a half to come up with something positively brilliant. You know, I may just have to put you on the payroll. That's all right. For now, I'll just settle for being on the team. Uh, one more time. One more time. How did I... Oh, how did I hurt my leg? Oh, wow, man, that's a long story. Let me see. Uh, uh, oh, one second. Snow. I'm looking at the weather section. You with me? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, snow. Big snow. And, uh... Uh, forget it. Okay, look. I'm walking, right? I'm walking in the mountains, and it's it's cold, and the snow's coming down. And like, all of a sudden, the earth started to go like this, shaking. And I look up, and the whole mountain came tumbling down over me. Right, avalanche. That's right, you got that right. Yeah, it happened so fast, I didn't have time to duck. Uh, again, next time, duck. Dummy? Oh, <laughs> okay, you're right. Wait. Wait a minute. How do you know what I'm saying? I didn't use sign. You read my lips? Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah, um, are you good at reading lips? So, so? I tell you what, as soon as you teach me sign, then you teach me to read lips. Okay? Do I have a friend? Do I have a girlfriend? Oh, yeah, pal. I got a girlfriend. Yeah, her name, uh, wait a minute, I can look it up under Christmas. Uh, slowly again. Is she, is she pretty? Yes, sir. She's very pretty. You want to meet her? Sure, sometime. Sometime, sometime real soon, I hope. Right, now, plan of attack, we take the limo home. Oh, I can get a cab if it's easy. No arguments. The limo takes us, then I can have a shower, get changed for the theater. And go to the Quartermain's house for your friendly visit. Right. The chances are I'll get there before her, so that means a wait. Curtains at eight. Uh, don't worry, I'll meet you and the others at the rib. I am not going to miss this show. I'd like that better if it were a promise. Cross my heart. Holly. Yeah? Thank you. Oh, this was nothing. It could be just the break I needed. Thank you. You're welcome.
Stella. This is she. Oh, uh, well, what is this? All right, fine. You can take him off the medication, and would you please keep Dr. Cunningham posted? He will be uh, taking over for me while I am in Topeka, Kansas. Fine. Yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much. Where is Stella? Upstairs, obviously. She didn't hear the phone. Yes, obviously. She asked me to wait in the living room, but I got a little restless. It would appear that we're both in a hurry. Uh, plain, wasn't it? Yes. Topeka. Well, yes, again. Now that you're on a roll, would you mind telling me uh, just exactly why you're here? Well, just a few questions. That I determined. Uh, what? Your flight, as a matter of fact. Why Topeka? Business. Well, what are we talking about here? A medical consultation? A convention? No, that... we're talking about ELQ business. You see, ELQ owns Bullon Pharmaceuticals. And I happen to be the medical consultant to that firm. Now, they have asked me to go and look into things. There seems to be a new drug that's been developed, and they would like me to help contract on it. I don't exactly know why. But until you ask me any more questions, I would like to know why you're so interested in my trip to Topeka. I need your help. Well, isn't that a switch? There are times when certain things come across my desk. This is one of those times. Now, I can't go into details, but it concerns medical research. What I need to know is if anything strange comes across the desk at Bullen's. Well, there are... Uh, what constitutes strange? Out of the ordinary, different? Suspicious, even? A person who has unusual interest in Topeka, Bullen, perhaps both. I need to know that information immediately. It doesn't seem very difficult. It would be easier, however, if you would... Well, let me notice exactly what you're looking for. Believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. How important is this? Well, it could be very important. It... Let's just wait and see, shall we? I guess I have to. I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you. Have a safe flight. I will. You're not serious. It's true. Less calories in red wine than white wine. I always thought it was the exact opposite. <laughs> Most people do. I think the grape growers out in California started that rumor just so they could sell more Chardonnay. May I help you, miss? A uh, martini. As dry as you got. Coming up. Talkative, isn't he? Uh, sorry? Oh, him, yes. I I always thought bartenders were supposed to listen. <laughs> are you a visitor? Sorry? I noticed your, your accent. Are you English? Uh, yes, but I live here. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. How do you like it? Oh, it's a very pleasant city. Uh, are you a visitor? No, I'm here on a short business trip. I don't know how the food is here, but it came highly recommended. You must have been talking to a doctor. This is one of their favorite hangouts. Uh, whereabouts are you from? Oh, just a tiny, tiny little place. No place you would have ever heard of. Trust me. Uh, it's called Indian Head Mountain. Had a heck of a winter up there, didn't you? Oh, yes. Terrible. One of the worst in years. At least I won't have to jump out of a cake again. <laughs> I knew we forgot something. Poor Brian shouldn't have to live through that. Well, you won't. Excuse me? I think we better get over to the clinic. I promised to help decorate. Mm-hmm. After I twisted your arm. We'll be over in a little while, Dan. I think that does it, Audrey. Oh. Audrey, I have to go down to X-ray and check some X-rays. Uh, wait for me here? Sure, I'll be around in the vicinity. I know just who I'm going to be sitting with, too. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Hello, there, Bobby. Hi. Aren't you going to the party? Well, isn't everyone? I thought you'd be changing by now. I will a second. Rough day in surgery? No, as a matter of fact, everything was fine. Well, then what's bothering you? Hmm? You know, Audrey, I thought I'd gotten to the point where I didn't think I needed a date. 
And here I am, sitting all alone and feeling sorry for myself because I don't have somebody to go to that party with tonight. Oh. You know, I think I have just a solution that might cheer you up. Well, let me have it, but I can't guarantee that it'll give positive results. How about borrowing my date? Date? Mm-hmm. Listen, I know how irresistible he is to women, so the least I can do is share him once in a while, if you promise that by the end of the evening, he comes home with me. I'll try to control myself. <laughs> now, come on. Off you go. Get yourself changed. Thanks, Audrey. Mm-hmm. Oh, I thought the agreement was to meet Robert and Holly at the Rip. Yes, well, I want to talk to you. <laughs> we have all night for that. No, I want to talk to you alone. Why? Uh... Celia? Well, I just don't want to have happen again what's happened before. When you go on and on about how we're the loving couple, well, I really think it makes Holly a little nervous. Oh, ridiculous. They love it when we compare ourselves to them. <laughs> no, darling, I don't think they do. In fact, I know they don't. Let's just try and keep the top nice and small, okay? All right, if you say so. Okay, thank you, darling. Now, let's get going. Holly and Robert are waiting for us. Brinker Road, is that it? Well, there is a Brinker Road. It runs just up north of the county line. All right, then you know where it is. Oh, sure, sure. There are a lot of cabins up there. What does your friend do? Not much of anything. Sells firewood when he needs the money. Big on hiking and camping, though. Oh, how's the weather up there now? I'm sorry, what was that? Oh, I really enjoy uh, hiking myself. In fact, I was up there last summer. I was thinking about getting up there again for a couple of days. Oh, I wouldn't go just yet. The snow is still melting. Best thing would be just to wait until things are in bloom. Oh, that long? If you want to play it safe. Mm. Ah, here are some familiar faces. Hello, I'm sorry we're late, Holly. Oh, don't worry. I was chatting with a friend here. I took your advice, Doctor. So I see. <laughs> you two know each other? Yes, we met at the hospital. Are you eating here as well? No, we're dining after the play, which starts in uh, less than 15 minutes. Where's Robert? Oh, he had some business, but he'll be along in a minute. Maybe we should wait for him outside. Good idea. Okay, let me pay my tab. I wish we had a chance to chat some more. That mountain that you live on is one of my favorite places. You know, Jed, I've been thinking about uh, all that I've been through and the hell I've managed to make for everybody, mm. especially self-pity. And then I meet somebody like my pal, you know, Paul, the little kid, mm. the deaf kid? Yeah. Whew. Man, he can't hear, and he never will hear. And the thing is that, I don't know, if I never walk again, I won't be as isolated as he is, because he's isolated from everybody that won't take the time to learn to speak his language. It doesn't seem to bother Paul that much. No, man, he's got it all together. Hmm. No, he's a tough kid. Yeah, he's smart, too. You know, he figured the whole thing out about me and Holly. Well, that wasn't hard. All he had to do was look in your eyes. <laughs> oh, Jed, you sweet talker. <laughs> <laughs> you think so, huh? No, it's the truth. I bet she's seen her by now. What's that? Natalie. By now, I bet you she's seen Holly and talked to her. Damn. I wish I knew what was going on. I really wish I knew what was going on. It was nice meeting you, Natalie. It's for me, too. Okay, I know I'm late. I'm sorry. Yes, we're just my going to outside and wait for you. Well, as a matter of fact, I have the limo running. We can still make the whole thing in plenty of time. Then what are we waiting for? Right. Uh, oh, how rude of me. Uh, Robert, this is Natalie Dearborn, a therapist from Indian Head Mountain, just in town for a few days. And Natalie, this is my husband, Commissioner Robert Scorpio. It's been nice meeting you, but I'm afraid we have to run. Yes, yes of course. Come on. Okay. Now, I have fun. Have you... Thank you. We will. All right. Bartender. Uh, uh, another, please. is busier than a Boy Scout trying to untie the knot when he winds up married to Krause. Then Billy Kirkridge and Grandpa Rodriguez trade homes on condo. After, Henry gets trapped in an elevator with Monroe and it's too close for comfort.